What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy Explores. So today we're about to explore this modern mansion that was built by a doctor for him and his wife, but tragically they never got to move in. At any rate, I cannot wait to show you guys what all I found inside of this place. So without further ado, let's get into the story of why this place is abandoned. Owen and Ellie, approaching retirement, began an ambitious project in 2014 to build a dream mansion on a 30-acre farm where they could spend the rest of their lives together. They carefully designed the house to be open, spacious, and welcoming for their children. But above all, it was designed to be a symbol of love, evident in the heart-shaped pond placed in the front yard. The guest house, just a stone's throw away from the main residence, was constructed to accommodate their son and his family, who would help maintain the farm and carry on the legacy Owen and Ellie worked so hard to create. As a kind-hearted pathologist, Owen traveled the world to help those in need. Ellie, his constant companion, accompanied him on all his travels, further strengthening the foundation of their deep friendship and unbreakable bond completely unaware of the shocking twist of fate that awaited them. During a routine checkup in 2016, Owen was blindsided by a devastating diagnosis, terminal cancer already in its advanced stages. The merciless disease progressed fast and within a year, Owen passed away. Ellie found herself alone, her heart completely shattered and her spirit weighed down by an overwhelming financial burden. The towering costs of construction and mortgage, compounded by the grief of losing the love of her life, ultimately proved too much for her. In 2020, she ceased making payments on the property and soon after, the bank foreclosed on the estate. Now, the once promising mansion stands abandoned a haunting testament to the dreams that were never realized. So join me as we dive further into the story of Owen and Ellie, exploring the home that was built to hold their love and uncovering the remnants of their life together that still linger within its walls. What's up guys? Before we get into this exploration, I wanna first give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, AG1. See, it's more than just a greens powder. AG1 is packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics, along with adaptogens to help boost immunity, improve energy, focus, stress management. Having AG1 in my bag is essential for covering my nutritional basis so I can continue enjoying life as I get older. But one of the things I love most about AG1 is its ability to keep me energized throughout my explorations without the need for excessive caffeine, thanks to its natural blend of vitamin B12, folate, and magnesium. AG1 makes it easy to stay healthy. Every morning, just mix a scoop of the powder in some water and you're ready to roll. Super straightforward and super tasty. So if you're interested in trying AG1 for yourself, head over to athleticgreens.com forward slash Jeremy Explores to get started on your order. And as a special bonus, Athletic Greens is offering this community a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 and K2, along with five free travel packs with your first purchase. So hit the link in the description below to kickstart your AG1 adventure today. Okay, now that we've covered the benefits of AG1, Let's get into today's exploration. All right, guys, she's a beauty. She's already starting to fall apart too. I doubt I'll even be able to get on the front porch because it's so overgrown. This is wild how quickly nature reclaims a property. And believe it or not, right here is directly in front of the front door where I imagine there's some steps that lead right up to it. Yep, 
And you can tell at one point there used to be a little garden right here in front of the porch. I imagine back in the day there were some lawn chairs out here, maybe a porch swing. And now it's all overgrown and abandoned. And from this angle, you can even barely see the house. This is wild. Let's go around back and see what it looks like back there, shall we? And look at this, this porch how the vines have all come in. And these fans, how they're drooping down from all of the moisture. Just judging from the outside and with this furniture out here, it's a good sign that there's probably a lot of stuff inside. There's still curtains on the window. These are all clues that there's probably furniture and everything still left behind inside. There's a deck here leading up to a balcony on the second floor. Now it's all begun to rot fall apart. It looks like we have a, probably a two car garage. Can't really look in it because the windows are so tinted you can't really see what's in the garage. If anything, oh and then another, another garage or like a tool, a tool shed basically built into the home. Very convenient. And look at these evergreens that were planted there at one point. And then we have over here, like some type of uh, outbuilding or full size like living quarters or something. Maybe it was a guest house. What's crazy is it's hard to tell how big this place is on camera, but it's massive. And this building right here is literally the size of an average size house. Yeah, it definitely looks like it was gonna be some type of um, guest house or something at one point, and they just never finished it. And a ton of storage in here. Maybe this was gonna be an entertainment room or something like that at one point. Let's see what's in this. Christmas decorations. More Christmas decorations there. Christmas tree. These boxes are empty, these monitor boxes. But it looks like a bunch of Mostly empty boxes, I gotta say. Yeah, most of these boxes look empty. Got a bird cage here. I imagine this right here maybe was for a wash machine or a dryer, or maybe a toilet, actually. Maybe there's gonna be a bathroom in this little section right here or something. Not really sure. Tight squeeze. No, so here's the bathroom and here's a shower. So I imagine this right here was gonna be like a utility room slash laundry room, like a full size living quarters back here. Look, it even had central heat and air right here. Yeah, I mean, this building, like I was saying, is the actual size of it, like a house. But it looks so small compared to the house that it's sitting next to. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to see what's inside the big house. 
So since the front porch is completely overgrown, it's kind of barricaded in by all this, all these bushes. I'm gonna keep walking around the house to see if I can find a way in. Hopefully this side door will open. And it looks like it will. Initially believing the house to be in pristine condition, it's now evident to me that nature has started to stake its claim on the structure. Water, the most destructive of elements, has managed to infiltrate the mansion. Already, we're met with a ton of furniture. It looks like fine antiques. We're met with coffered ceilings and a lot of decay on the floor. Look at this, guys. All at my feet. So I'm definitely gonna have to watch my step throughout this house. There might be some rotting floors, but this looks like already like a gentleman's room or perhaps his office. Imagine he built this room to do a lot of business out of. Look at this. Oh my God, these antiques in here are incredible with this curved glass. It's a really nice cabinet. And it's so sad because little by little, this ceiling's gonna fall in and eventually it's gonna get to this cabinet and into the rest of the house. This is also like an antique bench here. Man. And this cabinet here as well. With all these little teapots. This is so sad, guys. And look how perfectly preserved they are in here. Not even a speck of dust on them. Yeah, this was definitely gonna be an office. And look at this big tile floor. It's a very solid house. I imagine all of these cabinets are empty. Yep. It looks like there's a big storage closet here full of stuff. I'm seeing some Christmas decorations in these clear tubs. Yeah, more Christmas decorations in here. Looks like it's all Christmas decorations in this closet. So they definitely loved Christmas and getting into the holiday spirit. It's so wild that it's all still here. Like all these memories, all these decorations that she used probably multiple years, all still left behind. And I love this arched doorway here. Oh, wow. And look at these ceilings. There's tray ceilings in here with this massive chandelier that used to hang up above. I imagine it's now hanging down for the estate sale that never happened. This is a very, very nice place, guys. More antiques here in this corner. And it looks like all the dressers are, are empty, of course. They never, they never lived here. It looks like an old rocking chair as well. Not sure how old this one is. Probably not too old. Gosh, and look at this, a sink fixture still brand new in the packaging that they never even installed. All of this artwork they had bought for the house that never was hung on the wall. Look at this, a price tag of $30 for this. It was never sold. This is 
This is so wild and so sad. And this beautiful dresser here. With these little shelves. And look at this bathroom with another arched doorway. Marble countertops, or maybe this is granite. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below what kind of rock this is. We have a nice sink with the golden mirror, classic. So this is a big vanity here where she would, was gonna do all of her makeup and these light fixtures that are brand new, still in the plastic wrapping. And this beautiful jacuzzi that overlooks the farmland. This is incredible. Apparently they were gonna install, install something here, maybe shelving. So there was definitely power to the house at one point. I'm already seeing fans and stuff around the house. And look at this shower. This is amazing, guys. Man, could you imagine having a shower like this? I mean, this thing is pretty, pretty huge. This right here is the back door to the, uh, the back porch. Oh, wow, look up above. I didn't even notice this. If any of you guys know about the construction of this bathroom and why the ceiling looks like this, let me know in the comments below. I've never seen this before in my life. Man. They really put some money into this mansion. Got another closet here, full of supplies, light fixtures that they were going to eventually install. Got a toilet and a bidet. I wonder what this thing is. I'm not really sure. I don't think it's decorative. I think it's actually a tool of some sort. If anyone knows what this is, let me know in the comments below. So many antiques. Wonder what this is under the here. Looks like a big, a big chest. Yeah. Wow, look at this. This very old newspaper at the bottom. Looks like a pine, a pine chest. Which is Wow, because it says sold, and I imagine it says sold because they bought it, or perhaps there was an estate sale, and no one ever came and picked it up. I can't figure out which one. Bunch of artwork. Oh, and look at this. It's an old calendar. Man, 
what dreams never happen in this house. As I mentioned, this is a very, very sad place. And I feel like most of my videos are have this undertone of sadness or tragedy. But the reality is most abandoned places are abandoned because of some sort of tragedy that happened or death. A lot of times I feel the urge to balance out these stories with something happy, but a lot of these places simply just don't have a happy ending. But that doesn't mean there isn't hope even in the darkest of places and circumstance. Though Owen's passing left Elliot a total loss, she eventually discovered strength and comfort in the memories they created together. And over time, and with some healing, today Ellie honors their love by cherishing the precious moments they shared, turning her sorrow into appreciation, and allowing joy to take root once again. Lots of stuff still here. Looks like a lot of tennis balls. And look at this, an entire box full of tennis balls as well. So maybe they're very into tennis, or maybe their son was into tennis. And perhaps maybe they were gonna build a tennis court on the property eventually. Her shoes are still here. More decorations that never got put up. And there's suitcases still on the floor from all the traveling that they did. Like I mentioned, him being an oncologist, his job required him to travel a lot to help people. Wow, and this right here is when you first walk into the front door. This whole section right here looks lived in. Like if I were to walk in this house right now, it just, it just looks like someone lives here. It's a little messy, but definitely looks like someone lives here. And look at this, the front door just standing open. And check out the porch from this angle. So overgrown, this gutter here hanging down. So much of this porch is already starting to rot and being completely consumed by nature. And it looks like once upon a time, someone might have broken into this place. Imagine right here, there was a garden wrapped all the way around the front porch. This is wild, literally. And right out the front porch, you get a view over there in the distance of the heart-shaped pond. Despite its unkept appearance, the pond retains a certain enchantment. For the water in the pond, though altered by the years and now surrounded by overgrowth, continues to shine, much like the love that still exists within Ellie's heart for Owen. So 
so much love that was planned to be here. And now it's all just being swallowed by nature. I'm gonna shut the door. Looks like, I don't think they lived here. I think they, re they staged it to live here and they never, they never moved in. Everything still has a price tag. It was all being prepared to be lived in. And at the last minute, it all fell through with Owen's death. And these papers right here on the coffee table are um, contracts about the property, which I'm not gonna show that. Definitely wanna protect this property at all costs and keep it an absolute secret. Yeah, everything has a price tag, even this. And I wanna know what's back here. It looks like it's access to the back porch, but a lot, a lot of antiques back here. Look at this, an old sleigh. They're probably gonna hang up on the wall somewhere at one point. Price tags on all of this. Maybe this one right here was a bread box. Look at all these mouse droppings all in it now. <clears throat> so much furniture. So much furniture in here. I mean, the house was gonna be completely, just fully furnished. And look at this, incredible. It's an old, it's an old telephone booth. I wonder if it's a replica or if it's an original telephone booth that's been restored. I'm gonna try to get back here and see. Gosh, it's a tight squeeze. This is so neat. So I wanna say this is a replica. What do you guys think? Original or replica? More Christmas decorations. And I have a feeling this house was abandoned sometime around Christmas. There's so much of this house that's unfinished. Wires hanging out of the wall here. But they were so close, so close. Right here is the, the back door leading out to the back porch. So many memories that never had a chance to be made here. throughout the house. You know, it definitely has doctor vibes in here, I gotta say. With the green walls and this tile floor, lots of earth tones in here. It kind of looks like the front lobby of a uh, orthopedics office. Here we are entering the kitchen. And wow, it's completely furnished in here. So much stuff in here, guys. Stepping into the partially finished kitchen, it's quickly becoming evident to me that Owen and Ellie must have stayed here intermittently during the final stages of construction. The decor on the walls, the coffee maker sitting on the counter and the sink with soap still resting beside it all paint a vivid picture of just how close they were to making this house their forever home. 
all this kitchenware and this brand new dishwasher. You can see back here, they didn't even get around to putting light switch plates on. But they stored all of the shelves. And they were getting so close. And all this stainless steel hardware. fully stocked. I mean, it looks like they were right in the middle of moving in, right in the middle of it, when everything happened. And of course, as always, y'all know what time it is. We got to check the fridge. Oh, is it going to be good? Oh, complete letdown. It's a very clean fridge. I was hoping for at least one maggot. And the freezer. Oh, it looks like a bunch of cheesecake. That I definitely don't want to open. <laughs> imagine it's full of mold. We'll imagine that there's mold in this fridge. Well, it looks like there probably was mold here at one point. And check this out, all their magnets from all the places that they had visited. We got Quebec, Iceland, St. Louis, Halifax, New England, the Caribbean islands, Houston, Hawaii. Man, they went to so many places together, lived so much life together. I bet these are all full, yeah. Gosh. These lighters, brand new in the packaging. Man, I don't want to sound redundant. I know I keep saying it, but this place is so sad. I mean, all of these boxes are full, full of stuff prepared to move in. Oh, those are some personal documents of his, as well as down here, which I'm not gonna show, out of respect for the former owners. Man, more glassware up here. Ha, <laughs> this is funny. Imagine they got that bird as a souvenir from one of their tropical vacations and look at this this wine cooler brand new still has the plastic and the cardboard and it's stocked with unopened wine let's see if it's good wine apple barn i imagine that's very cheap wine maybe it's a placeholder sugarland cellars never heard of any of these brands more sugar land sellers down there. Yeah, I imagine this was uh, some placeholders. More tennis balls. So they definitely loved tennis. All these brand new bulbs still in the packaging to go to the dozens of lamps that we've already seen in here. Got some scotch glasses, like a gentleman. And another wine cooler here, check this out. Well, this is a fancy one. And more wine here. Pinot Grigio. Wyland, I've never heard of that brand either. Yeah, this is a fancy one with a marble top. Got more light bulbs in there. And check.
check it out. It says, sold to Owen. We'll pick up at the evening of February 1st, 2014. He had bought all of this stuff and they set it in here and moved it in. And then he passed away and everything changed. Check this out. This is an old pump organ. If you guys haven't seen these, you do this, you pump this with your foot. Gives it air pressure, but this one right here, I don't think this works. It's a Kimball brand though. That's a very popular brand. So they definitely loved antiques. There's a lot of old pieces in here that I haven't seen in a while. Speaking of old pieces, check this out. This is nice. Oh, so this isn't open, this is a Victrola. I imagine there's a record player inside of here. Yeah, check this out. Wow. And I wonder what records they have in here. How do you access this? So the speakers are in here. I wonder where they kept the records. I know I'm gonna have a ton of comments telling me how to use this thing. And I invite you to do that because I have no idea where the storage is on this. Usually in these old Victrolas, there's a place to put your records, but these aren't pull out drawers. They're just made to look like that. Yeah, let me know guys, educate me. And here we have the living room. Again with access to the back porch. For Owen's final Christmas, the family decided to create a magical experience in the house that he and Ellie had always dreamt of. They lovingly decorated the room, set up the Christmas tree, played Christmas songs, and gave Owen the gift he valued most, time with his beautiful family. In my mind's eye, I can see them gathered around the tree, the room bathed in the warm glow of twinkling lights as the sound of Christmas songs played in the background. Yet amidst the joy of that moment, a silent dread lingered, the knowing that this would be their last Christmas with Owen. Nevertheless, no one spoke of it, choosing instead to keep the spirits high and love the focal point of the day. Looks like boxes, more of medical documents that he kept track of. A World Apart by Nolan Moore. Here we have Natural Wonders of North America. So it's clear that they loved to travel and see the world. Check this out. There was home phones. <laughs> there was landline phones. That's funny. Perhaps he used it for his, uh, his business. And this fireplace here, check this out. This marble tile around it. The big mantle. Oh, and I just found the source of the smell that I keep smelling. Poor little guy.
Like I said before, some areas of this house, it just looks like it looks so lived in. It looks like at any point, someone's just gonna walk in the door, walk in the kitchen, make a glass of tea, come over here, hang out on the couch, perhaps maybe watch TV that would be mounted above the fireplace mantle, or perhaps right here along this wall. And I just noticed up above, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but there's quite a bit of water damage that's starting to happen in the ceiling right here in the living room. Look how it's starting to crack all up above. I bet we can get a better view of it from upstairs. We might as well make our way up there now. Check out this artwork here. So I'm seeing quite a bit of um, like carnival themed stuff. There's like a telephone booth, there's hot air balloon, artwork. There's like different things around the house, like the, like the ticket pillows that we saw downstairs. And here is the den, as you call it in America. Huh, and check this out. Speaking of like carnival theme, look at this. And this is definitely an original bicycle. Wow, I've never seen one of these in real life. Check out this tire, solid rubber. I bet the ride on this thing was super rough. Check out this step right here to climb up on top of the seat. This is so cool. Yeah, so they definitely loved to collect antiques. And there's, again, like a carnival theme that I'm seeing here. And see, this is what I was talking about. You can really see it up here, how the ceiling's starting to crack all around. That's not good. Really not good for the structure. You get a nice view of the living room from up here. Look at this. You can see this plywood here, how it was unfinished right here on top. And check out this Victorian sofa. This is an amazing piece. It's in great condition too. This is definitely a very old piece. So neat looking. and a chair of the same style. It's so different to see a place like this that's so full of their taste and of their personality, yet not lived in at all. I'm gonna see what's in this massive bedroom over here. I mean, look at this room. This thing's gotta be 20 feet across, maybe 25 feet across. This is a massive bedroom. For some reason, it doesn't give me master bedroom vibes, especially the size of the bed. This is a full size bed. I imagine they would have a queen or a king size. Got a Halloween nutcracker. It's a very random spot for a decoration like that. And look at this, someone paid 150 bucks for this thing. Brand new bedding, it looks like. Definitely a new lampshade. And this right here is going out to the balcony, out to the backyard, the deck that's beginning to rot. This is such a big room. I wonder if there's anything in the closet. Probably, probably not. No, 
Not really. things in here. No. But a big screen TV was gonna go right here on this wall. Someone was gonna be able to chill in bed, watch TV from across the room. And that had to have been a huge screen in order to see everything. They got their own bathroom here. A vanity, a really nice vanity. All brand new. A toilet that was probably never even used. So much of this house was unfinished and a big, and I wanna check out this other bedroom over here across the way from the den. I'll check out this cart here. Brand new bar cart with the tag on it. Wow, this is a purple bedroom. It's evident they were having fun when designing and painting this room. The purple and pink walls, though unconventional, reflect the creative liberties and joy they found in making a space that was entirely their own. In addition to the walls, I can imagine Owen and Ellie might have chosen eclectic furniture, artwork, and decor, making a treasure trove of memories, collected items, and conversation pieces that held special significance to them. And look at this. More Victorian furniture. More carnival themed decorations. These beautiful velvet chairs. The matching one here. A lovely little floral sofa. These are all pretty, pretty amazing items. Ooh, and I love this lamp here with the brass and the white glass and the, the floral design. And again, a very old dresser here. With a marble top. This is a very old piece. And a brand new accent table, look at this. Still with the tag on it. This bed, wow, this bed is over the top. With brand new bedding on it. This is incredible. A really cool looking bed. It looks like a, a bed you would see like in a castle or something. But interestingly enough, this is also a full-size bed. So it's not really big enough to fit two people on it. So I'm not really sure if this was meant to be the master bedroom or not. Now I'm starting to think that the room downstairs with the chandelier next to the jacuzzi was the master bedroom of the house. And this beautiful mirror that matches the same style as this bed. And you know what? This mirror, guarantee it, went to this over here. It's crazy, the mirror is bigger than the actual dresser. This is wild. And this quilt stand. Lots of like country home vibes in here. Check it out guys, this right here is the balcony looking out over the front yard. 
From here you get a view of the pond and all the acreage. I would step out there, but it's tied and I don't want to untie that knot. I try not to mess with these places and leave them pretty much exactly as I found them. And I know a lot of you are gonna say that this purple wall, along with the pink, is tacky. And I totally agree with you. But at the same time, I think it's also really cool. And check this out. On this fan, there's a dirt dauber nest. It's little things like that, that, you know, even though the home hasn't been abandoned for that long, it kind of alludes to how quickly nature swoops in whenever a place becomes abandoned. And here we have a bathroom. With a full size shower. And very elegant curtains. And a big walk-in closet here. With purple carpet. Got a funky pillow here and a floral one. I like this little nook up here coming out of the bathroom and this balcony that overlooks the bedroom. to this house here. Oh, it's an attic space. It's very hot up here. This is where all the water damage is starting to come in. There's a hole in the ceiling right where my finger is pointed. And you can see it from an aerial view. But that hole is just gonna continue to get bigger and bigger over time and eventually this whole side of the house is gonna be the first to go. With this very expensive HVAC unit in here. Okay, so now that we've seen pretty much everything there is to see upstairs, I'm very curious to see if there's anything in the garage. Here we are, I'm back down here again. Got a couple more doors here. Oh my God. Look at all this toilet paper someone was hoarding during the pandemic. There's mounds of it. Toilet paper and paper towel. This is insane. All right, be honest with me. If you were guilty of hoarding toilet paper during the pandemic in 2020, just let me know in the comments. This is a judge-free zone. And hey, I might have been guilty of it too, but um, that's neither here nor there. I just wanna know if you were. We're gonna shut this door and leave the toilet paper forever in its tomb. It's behind door number two. Okay, so we have a laundry room slash bathroom. This is very random. Lots of storage in here too. Lots of supplies in here. Some bed linens in here. Looks like a dog bed. Yeah, a dog bed. So yeah, definitely a utility room slash bathroom, which is very random. And there was uh, there's soap out on the sink, which tells me at one point there was water running in this place. So someone was showering here. And we got some tools left behind too. All right, I think it's garage time. Oh, wow. You've got...
got to be kidding me. This is absolutely incredible, guys. It is so rare that I find cars in abandoned houses, let alone iconic classics like a 1950s Thunderbird. This thing must have been like his like pride and joy. I bet he babied this thing back in the day and maybe drove it around on Sunday mornings, cruising the back roads here out in the country. And now it's, now it's just sitting in this garage collecting dust and unfortunately water damage as well. It never ceases to amaze me the amount of waste that I find in abandoned buildings. And there's no telling how long this house is just gonna sit here like this until it eventually is auctioned off or you know that place falls in on itself. I can only hope that the state eventually holds an auction or donates a lot of this stuff because as you've seen, there's so much priceless, valuable items in this place that people truly appreciate, even historical items like this 1950s Thunderbird. And it's in immaculate condition. I bet. I hope it's unlocked. Oh, yeah. God, what a shame. Look at all this, all this mold that's growing on the door. Yeah, it reeks of mold in here. And the interior is in perfect condition, other than being a bit dirty. God, look at the dials, the speedometer. Look at the gauges. And I love this like bucket dash. There's not even like a glove box in here, I don't think. So retro. It looks like um, atomic inside of the car. And again, like I said, the seats, the seats are in immaculate condition. Such a shame that it's just sitting here. Abandoned like this, ah, oh, and I love that clunk. I wanna do that again. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Man, this thing is a chunk of metal. I love these, these uh, tail lights. And that Thunderbird emblem, so cool. Wow. Of course the tires are very flat on it. What? Look at this. Someone scratched in the paint a face. How could someone do that? This car is like an artifact. This thing belongs in like someone's collection. And I love this telescoping antenna. This is absolutely incredible. It looks like this garage is completely full. Again, all types of stuff for the house. Looks like a lot of medical documents in this box. Maybe tax papers. More Christmas lights, Christmas decorations. This is just absolutely, absolutely wild that all of this stuff is just sitting behind like this. The true value of life often reveals itself when we lose someone dear to us. In the wake of Owen's passing in 2017, his family faced an unimaginable loss, but amidst the overwhelming sorrow, they discovered something profound and unexpected. At the end of the day, possessions hold no weight as we can't take them with us when our time comes. But what remains, what we leave behind, is something far greater, the legacy of love. Today, Owen's family has transformed their grief into gratitude for the time they had with him. And as for Ellie, she's found strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Yet, she would still give anything for the chance to be in Owen's arms just one more time. It seems that some things truly can't be fixed, but they can be carried.
All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this exploration. And I wanna thank you so much for coming along with me on this adventure. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a like. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And until next time, stay off the beaten path.